two blockbusters in one summer. That might be some kind of record for Robert Downey Jr. He's already got the monster hit Iron Man under his belt now. He's turning to comedy in Tropic Thunder and raising some eyebrows while doing it. For 400 years, that work has kept us down. What the? Took a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. Now we up in the big leagues. Get not turn to bed. Long as we live, it's you and me, baby. <laughs> That's the theme song for the Jeffersons. You really need help. And just because the theme song don't make it not true. <laughs> and Robert Downey Jr. is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry. I've seen the movie, and I watch the clips, and they make me laugh. Uh, also, the fact that I can't understand most of what you say in the movie yes. is also very That amazing. might be to our uh, mutual advantage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So these guys come along and they say, Ben Stiller says, I want you to play. He says uh, Kirk Lazarus is a, you know, quadrillion time Oscar winner and he's really self-important and he undergoes a controversial procedure. To color his skin. Yes, to, be, to play uh, African-American army sergeant. And I said, wait a minute, hold, hold on. Mm -hmm. This is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. And he goes, yeah. I know, isn't it great? Yeah. I thought, well, in the right context, it could be entertaining and, and or it could be disastrous. Yeah. But there's that thing of like the risk factor for any creative idea, right. any venture. The only difference being is, you know, I had a lot of goodwill from Iron Man and I was just apprehensive to not squander it. But the whole <laughs> Tropic Thunder thing is yeah, so... Can I just stop a second? Please. You spend your entire life getting your life together. You do Iron Man, the most gigantic movie of right. the summer. Except you ought to sue Batman because it kind of overshadowed a little bit. But, Sorry. and then you're going to take this, you're going to go... But see, that was my fear. Huh. My fear is going, oh, you know, something's going to change that or whatever. And look, you know, you, you deal with sensitive topics whether you're in a comedic context or not yeah nowadays it's just you know very 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 convenient to to pick things apart right you know well it is so outrageously politically incorrect right. that maybe because it was outrageously politically incorrect it was doable as opposed to merely and i remember coming up watching comedies like this <laughs> things that were really off kilter and yeah. really largely in poor taste, but still made by people that we knew. <laughs> there was something about the brand right. name mm -hmm. of the people who were directing story. And somebody said, "You know what? We know that they have a moral psychology. Sure. We know that they're essentially, you know, high-minded right. people. Right, right, kind right. Of. Yeah. There's been all kinds of reaction to this movie, and some people have taken offense. And your response to that would be." Uh, my response to that, it, it's interesting because, it, you know, at different phases, I can have different takes on it. One is like, um, well, isn't that the whole idea? Is like the country's based on we can express this and express right. that. So it's all kind of business as usual. Yeah. It's strange to me that we're taking flack from uh, a disabilities support group with all of the other uh, archetypes and stereotypes we tended there to are lampoon address, in the movie, yeah. lampoon and all yeah. that, and um, nothing is above satire, yeah. last I checked. <laughs> last you checked. And finally, is the, if there were an actor you based your character on, who would it have been? Sadly, my sorry ass self. <laughs> 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 it's very funny, very funny stuff. And quite frankly, I really have to say this, because you were here for Iron Man earlier this summer. Huge, gigantic hit. Really changed the genre, I thought, in a lot of ways. Thank and you. you were so successful in it, and it's so good. And I think you should sue Batman, because it's not fair. Yeah. Right? I'm going to run with that. Let me talk to legal. Yeah. Why yeah. don't I use your legal department, because it was your idea? <laughs> And you could call the Tom Cruise a a character, and I bet he could get that done. Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Very, very funny stuff. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., always a pleasure. Good Thank to see you. you. All right.